Hello, and welcome back to this week's home edition of WTHS News. I am KP Shoemaker, and if you didn't know, Virtual Spirit Week was last week. Virtual Spirit Week was a fun way for students to dress up while at home. This week is graduation for Tupelo High seniors. I am a senior, and let me just say, I am ready to graduate. I would like to thank Tupelo High teachers and faculty for helping me along the way. Tupelo High has been a great foundation for success to be attainable. I plan to attend the University of Mississippi, majoring in political science with emphasis on civil rights, minor in business. That's enough about me. I spoke with a few more seniors about how it feels to graduate and what advice would they give freshmen. I'm really excited about graduating. I've always wanted to you know, go to college and be on my own. So I'm really excited for that. And it's just, it's a good closure just to graduate and four years of high school, you know, comes to an end. So I'm excited about that and going into a new chapter in my life. Advice that I have for the upcoming freshmen is to have as much fun as possible. You know, one moment you're in high school and the next you're not, it's over in the blink of an eye. Secondly, I would tell you to stay up on your work, get as much done before you have the fun so you can stay ahead of the game because you know your grades are very important. Lastly, I would suggest that y'all join like a bunch of clubs because those clubs can take you a long way. If I had any advice to upcoming freshmen, I would tell them to make sure to get involved into all the activities that Tupelo High School offers, like the clubs and athletics, because high school is just so much more than just, you know, doing academics and schoolwork all the time, and you'll make a lot of memories with all your friends that you meet. Also, these seniors tell me about what kept them motivated during the four years of high school and what THS has taught them. All of my teachers and all my friends, like, they always push me to do my best and to do my best work and that's really helped me stay motivated for my four years at Tupelo High School. It's just a lot of the connections of people that are gonna help you move on. One thing that's kept me motivated throughout my years at Tupelo High School was the people that I surrounded myself with. I tried to find people who were actually like me and motivated me to be the best that I can be and I did that to them, vice versa. So it's just the people like who I hang around. When I do my work, they do their work. When we have fun together, we do what's right and we just get our stuff done. Tupelo High School has taught me to take advantage of all the opportunities given to me because you have a lot of opportunities to join clubs and get involved in the school and to, you know, just like make sure that you focus on your school. So it's taught me a lot of um, multitasking kind of. You can make friends, you can play sports, you can be involved in clubs. Like it's just really fun to just be involved and take advantage of what's given. Some things that Tupelo High School taught me was, you know, it is okay to fail. You will fail in life because we are not perfect. And I learned that as long as you pick yourself up and keep trying, you will achieve whatever you're trying to do. Secondly, the two things that you can control is always your effort and your attitude. And Coach Ray taught me that. Like, effort, you can always go hard, as hard as you can. And your attitude, you don't have to be like such a mean person and bad person about everything. You can just be positive and it comes back to you. Lastly, the seniors told me what they plan to major in college. I plan to attend Mississippi State University this fall and I'm gonna major in biochemistry with a concentration in pre-medicine. I plan to major in social work. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to do that or psychology, but I really think I'm going to do great in social work. I'm going to do different fields of it, not just working with children, but homeless people, elders, all of that. So I really think that it'll do me good in the future. Speaking of home and social distance learning, Ava can tell us more about this pandemic that took the United States by storm. The COVID-19 virus has changed our lives drastically. Our worlds have been flipped upside down. Our schools are closed. Restaurants are doing curbside pickup only. And many people have lost their jobs. Right now, a lot of things are uncertain. But one of the big uncertainties is the future. What will our future look like? Will there be a second wave? To get a professional opinion, I spoke to Dr. Max Taylor, an infectious disease doctor with over 40 years of experience. It's not is there gonna be a second wave, it's we want the second wave to be a ripple instead of a big wave. And then the third wave to be a little bitty ripple, and then the fourth wave to be like, is that a ripple or not? We are looking at uh, every single industry. It seems highly likely that this virus will not go away anytime soon. 
So what can we as teenagers do to help get back to normal as soon as possible? It may not be risky to a young person who has a good immune system. That's sort of an uncertain. We can't measure that right off the get-go. But at the same time, if that young person volunteers to work at a nursing home, it's like, oh my goodness. All those old people are very susceptible and it would be independently irresponsible to go into some city like that. So a teenager, a child, a young adult, whatever, we really want to focus in on learning infection control, which is breaking the mode of transmission. That's, that's the key thing. In the midst of this pandemic, everyone has a job. Our job as students is to do the best we can to protect those who are more at risk. I spoke to THS student, Jamara Miles, about how she thinks we should protect those who are more at risk. I feel like people who are at bigger risk honestly should stay home and should make sure they, they really do practice social distancing because it's very scary and it's very risky going, going out to places and things if you're easier to get it. This is a very scary time for everyone, young or old. Another THS student shares what she thinks we should do to protect ourselves. I think people should start protecting themselves with masks. And even though people will be like, oh, it's not going to protect me. Why should I wear a mask? If everybody wore a mask, the mask is preventing from spreading the virus. So if everybody wears a mask, the virus is not spreading. So I'm protecting you with my mask and you're protecting me your so I think that's what should happen and how we can close the spreading of the virus. Nobody knows for certain what the future will be like but we do know that by being more vigilant and washing our hands and by being more conscious of the germs we are spreading we can get back to normal. I'm Ava Lacey, WTHS News. Thank you, Ava. I think this wraps up this week's home edition of WTHS News. This is KP Shoemaker signing off. I would like to thank Tupelo High once again, and I wish Tupelo High students nothing but success. Much love. Toodles.